Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah Says Hi here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be discussing plateaus when you're on the ketogenic diet, especially when you are a woman over the age of 40. So if you're interested in how I broke my plateau, stay tuned. I'm going to be discussing the protocol that I followed this week in order to get off of a plateau that I was on. So if you would have seen in my last week's video, I tried eating 200 grams of fat. I tried a very strict keto protocol and was absolutely miserable. I did lose 1.4 pounds doing that method, but I was absolutely miserable, and immediately after ending that protocol, the very next day, I had gained a pound back. But for the last month, the scale has fluctuated between 193 pounds and 192 pounds. I was very frustrated because I was counting my carbs. I participated in a five-day egg fast. I've been working out. So last month was my first month of weight training again. I was not doing any cardio. That was just strictly weight training three days a week. I decided to purchase Dr. Eric Westman's page four food list. If you're not familiar with Dr. Eric Westman, I will go ahead and post a link down below where you can find out more information about him. If you are interested in purchasing his page four food list like I did, there will be a link down below that you can click on that will take you to his official page four food list where you can purchase it. It is $9.99, but it's worth it because that $9.99 goes to further research for the ketogenic diet and what Dr. Eric Westman is working on. I do receive a little bit of a kickback. It's not much, but just putting a disclaimer out there that I am earning something. The first thing that I changed was I stopped counting calories. That kind of spun off of last week where I did not count calories. Don't fear not counting calories. Um, trust me, I was so scared, but when I saw that I actually wasn't gaining weight when I was eating in a 600 calorie surplus every day, doing the 200 grams of fat protocol, then that proved to me that I don't need to be afraid of not counting calories. It was really silly for me to like be so paranoid because it just kind of balances out. There were some days where maybe I was eating a, a lot less than what would be suggested, but I was listening to my body. And that's the main thing is you need to listen to your body. You eat when you're hungry, you stop when you're full. Um, it doesn't mean just mindless snacking. You stick to his food list. If you stick to his food list, you're going to be fine. And that's why you don't need to count calories or macros because by sticking to the food list, it's impossible to go over 20 grams of carbs. Number two is I was exercising. I was weight training this last week, but that's not any different than what I've been doing the month before that. It is not necessary. You do not have to exercise while following a ketogenic diet. Again, you listen to your body. I wanted to weight train. I wanted to work out. I feel really good when I work out. I prefer getting up at four o'clock in the gym by 4.15 in the morning. That's just what I prefer. Get it done first thing in the morning. Um, I'm awake, I'm alert, and I feel I just work my best that way. Do you wanna come along with me? Come along. Number three, I was not testing my blood glucose or my ketone levels. It's not necessary to test those things. You can if you want, but it definitely is not necessary. And then I told myself that I was not even gonna test my blood glucose or my ketones until Sunday, which is today, one week of following this protocol. So I didn't check it the whole week. And um, today my blood glucose was 99. It's not bad, it's a little bit higher than usual. The strange thing was my ketones were rather low, but ketones can be very finicky. They can fluctuate from day to day, hour to hour. So I'm not even really worried about that. Um, I just listened to a video by Amy Berger, love her, and she was just talking about um, how, again, it's not necessary 
to lose weight following a ketogenic diet while in ketosis that people can still lose weight while not officially in ketosis, even though that's the goal and eating below 20 grams of carbs should put someone in nutritional ketosis. The other thing that I implemented was drinking coffee at certain hours. In my previous video, I talked about how I researched your cortisol levels and when they're the most active. When your cortisols are the most active, which is between eight and nine o'clock in the morning and 12 and two o'clock in the afternoon, those are the hours where you don't want to be drinking coffee, especially if your cortisol levels are high. Typically, one's cortisol levels are going to be high if they carry a lot of belly fat, which is what I do. So I practice drinking coffee at about 10 and 10.30 every day. Um, if I wanted to have an afternoon coffee, I drank it at 3. And then my number five tip, specifically for keto for women that are over the age of 40, is trust the process. Yes, it's easier said than done, and it sounds so cliche, and it even just sounds a little ridiculous, but seriously, trust the process. If you abide by the page four food list, you will be under 20 grams of carbs. You will be satisfied. And with all of that comes the results. So this morning I woke up and had a whoosh. Last Sunday when I had done my weigh-in, I was 192.6. Today's weigh-in, I'm 189.6. So I lost 2.8 pounds this week by following this protocol. If you have any questions about this video about the advice that I've given in this video, please leave it down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will be posting more of these videos for keto for women that are over the age of 40 because I am 43 and love the ketogenic lifestyle and plan on losing the rest of my weight this way. It's been a life changer for me. I'm planning on sticking to this protocol for an entire 30 days just to see what my progress is. This is a very simplified way of keto and that's what is important when following keto, especially when you're over the age of 40. Don't overcomplicate it by buying all the nut butters, the almond flours, the coconut flours, um, the protein bars, the MCT oils, the MCT oil powders, all of that. Keep it simple. I know it's so cliche, but keep your keto simple. By doing so, you will lose weight. You don't need to be meal prepping, meal batch cooking, and all of that, unless it's like cooking your meat ahead of time if you just want shredded chicken throughout the week or shredded pork, whatever it is, then that's really the only thing that you need to, to meal prep. Honestly, the only thing that I meal prepped was hard boiled eggs because I wanted to have them on hand. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you're not yet subscribed. That way you won't miss out on any of my future updates and we will see you in the next one. Bye.